Hello, YouTube. Yeah, have you heard of the Dollar Tree? It's a store where everything inside is a dollar. That makes it a very useful place for people like me who happen to have. Excuse me. Who happen to not have a very large amount of spending money. On a recent trip to this wondrous place, I made two very important purchases. One, pork skins, and two, lamentation. Okay, so why would pork skins be an important purchase? Pork skins are something I have wanted to try for about two years. It has taken two years because I was very wary about buying them. The most common argument against being, what if I don't like the snacky foodstuffs contained in this bag? What if it tastes terrible? The truth, which I find not hard to admit whatsoever, is that I absolutely, unashamedly, through and through, find pork skins to be disgusting. That is one dollar I am never getting back. I regret nothing. The other VIP I'm talking about is this book. It is by Ken Scholes. The advanced praise on the cover, right there, is by Orson Scott Card. To those of you familiar with the iconic science fiction work Ender's Game, that is a pretty big deal. So. I'm sifting through these books, and none of them look particularly interesting. For a light read. Well, there's some political books about a bajillion romance and or detective novels, a book on natural aphrodisiacs, and a few self-help books. Just then, my friend, who was about through with being checked out, pointed out Lamentation. This one looks a bit interesting, and then walks right out the door. This one looks a bit interesting indeed. I pick up the book, complete my purchase, and after consuming five and a half pork skins, dumping the rest, making my way home, and finding a nice soft spot to read, I'm hooked. One thing before I go. I have a habit of finding mistakes in published works. Not out of spite, but because I like details. On page 71... Of lamentation, Lady Jin Lee Tam has piercing blue eyes. But on page 121, her eyes are blazing green. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Have a lovely day, A.G.